All right, this is uh, group 12 for COP4331. Um, this is the our shopping cart application. Um, I'm Matthew Brown. And I'm Nigel Montreux. Um, right. Here it's obviously, it yes, and here it's a login screen where you, a customer or a merchant would log in. Right now, we just have one customer and merchant with the names customer and merchant with their own passwords. Um, here you can see there's a customer window where you see all of the products. You have the button to add them to the cart and you can click the product name to get the description and further information. Um, you can obviously add them to the cart and when you do, it adds the price of the product to your shopping cart as well as deducting from the actual quantity of the store. And then when you go on into the checkout window, you can increase or decrease the quantity of the items as well as clicking the item to see the description. And then you just enter your credit card information to carry out the payment. Now that the payment's been approved, you'll see that the shopping cart has reset back to neutral, but the quantities that you've taken from the store have remained the same. They've been updated to show that the customer has bought them. All right, now we're gonna log in from the merchant account. All right, and now we see uh, the product panel has, in addition to the selling price, the quantity, it has the invoice price that the uh, merchant uh, puts in for the product. Um, from the last sale, we can see uh, it keeps track of the revenues, costs, and profits. Um, that sale was $380 with cost item cost of $190. So then our profits are $190. It keeps track of all the items sold. So once there's a sale, it will it updates the uh, this information with this report. Um, when you click on an item, it brings up uh, an editable form for there so that you can change the details price, et cetera, for the item. Um, you can delete the item. And we're just going to bring this quantity back up to five, where it was. Um, we'll raise the price and update. And we can see price has been updated, quantity has been updated. Um, and now we can delete an item. It'll prompt a confirmation. And now you can see just deleted those items. Um, you can add a product to add a new one. It generates a unique uh, product ID number for the product. Um, And then see, and now we can see that item's been added to the inventory. Um, and now I'm gonna log out and show that that change is reflected here.
now that a new product has been created, the customer should be able to see it on the storefront. And just to show that the and again the accounting information was updated for that last sale. So it's keeping track, log in, log out. Um, it's a persistent database that is stored. Up. Um, so you know you, every time the application is exited, it's going to save that. And then every time uh, it's opened back up and logged in, uh, it's pulling back from that database. So this will, accounting and these inventory will remain persistent across sessions. Um, that's pretty much it. Nigel, anything to add? Um, not really any bad other than that it's nice and convenient and it saves the customer's credit card information when for the next time that they log in. But yes, that should be it for all of the functionality. All right. Well, that's a shopping cart application. Thank you very much.